Okay, we have Rice, who won 64 to 57 to advance to tomorrow's conference championship game against the winner of the upcoming UAB Middle Tennessee game at 4:30 tomorrow. We have head coach Cena Langley and student athletes Erica Ogumake and Sydney Wiggins, and we'll begin with a opening statement from coach. It's just proud of our fight today. You know, we know in tournament time, you know, this is a battle, and um, it's going to be the team that can, you know, continue to keep their their head about them and execute in really tough moments. And so, I'm really proud of the toughness, both mental and physical, that our team showed today. Questions for our student athletes, Erica. When they had the run, it didn't look like you panicked. What was the feeling among you and your teammates? I mean, uh, I think I know basketball is just a game, a game of runs. So uh, I definitely tried to calm down our team, but I think everyone on our team kind of knows that too. So we're all pretty calm, uh, I think, because we're confident in our offense and our defense. So we just knew we had to get past that run and get stops and then also just execute on offense. In the back. Erica, um, and I'm drawing a blank on who hit it. The three at the end of the third quarter from the corner. It was soon, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, then, then that'll be the fault. It seemed to really lift your entire team. Is, yeah. Was that the case, Erica? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, I think we're fighting during the game uh, to get the looks that we normally do. Uh, and it took us a while to start meshing like that. But I think that kick was really awesome because uh, people don't know, but we practice that all the time. We practice all the reads. So I think it was really neat to see our practice come onto the play uh, at a very pivotal moment. Did you feel like it lifted your teammates? City. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it lifted myself, lifted everybody else, especially going into the fourth quarter. We kind of made a run at the end of the third, so I think it kind of continued on into the fourth. Sydney, what's your mindset going to the next game, to the finals, just coming off of this like comeback win? We just have to continue how we ended the game, really. We have to start fighting and giving the punch, not really taking it, and we just got to continue to do what we've been doing. All right, we'll let our student athletes get back to the locker room, and we will continue with questions for Coach. Yes, sir. First of all, Coach Langley, congratulations on getting to the championship game. Now, perhaps that I, I cover Western Kentucky, but knowing that they've won the last two tournaments and knowing what you did to them in the regular season game, you're not surprised at the way they played this game, were you? Not at all. Western Kentucky is a tremendous team and really well coached, and I thought they played a great game today. And uh, that's probably you know an another reason I'm just really proud of the way our team fought. Um, that's a team that's been in, in this tournament and won this tournament many years in a row. And so um, you know we're we're very respectful of of who they are and where they've been, and and um, and thought it was a great game today. Coach, what was going through your mind when they made that run of threes in the first half? Honestly, I just think about the next play, you know, very much like we talked about to our team, you know, the next game, the next play. Um, you've got to move forward and say, what is the next thing that we need to do? And so I thought we need to make a few changes defensively in how we were guarding their ball screens. And, and I didn't like the pace that what we were playing on the offensive end of the floor. So our focus was that. Number one for them, Aram Yang, hasn't really been a huge factor, but then tonight she just shows up and starts hitting a lot of threes. Just how much did that really change? Or did you at, at all sort of take an account for what she could do in, to, in this game when you were scouting Western? Yeah, I mean, you do have to, in scouting, you have to pick what you're going to take away and what you're going to give them. And so we did, and they took advantage of some of the things we gave them early, and, and her three-point shot was one of those things. So we did say we would contest it. We didn't do as good a job, but we were going to be a little late given some of the defensive schemes we wanted to run. So. Uh, we made an adjustment on that, obviously, as she got hot. And, and she's a great player, so um, I, I knew that could happen. Tina, I, I, I'm sorry, Chris. Please. Tina, you got a heck of a team. Heck of a team. A lot of respect for you. I only have gotten to see you play twice in person. You get to see him daily. What makes your team special, do you think? I think who they are is people. I mean, I'm, I'm not overstating that. The character of our kids is so tremendous. I mean, they spent this last week, I've never seen a team uh, prepare the way they've prepared from, you know, extra shooting to getting into watching film when you don't know who your opponent's going to be and, and still preparing their mind and, as well as their body. And so um, I think they, they're a very selfless group of people. You know, our core values, the first core value that we talk about all the time is unity. And I think you really see that when our team is together off the floor as well as on the floor. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.